I'm not sure what he means, but he says, Dad figured he figured me out. Oh, he was. Oh, they trying to quote you. Yeah, he trying to. Well, he trying to quote Dev, um, from the fight, obviously. Nah, nah, I want some insight on that, Bill. What was your thoughts when Dad okay. said he figured me out? Well, Bill Haney opens up and speaks on. Hey, Dad, Dad, he's figured us out, Dad. He knows what I'm doing, Dad, Dad. Hey, Bill Haney opens up on what happened in that moment, what was going down. And y'all can't miss this. I'm telling y'all, man, Bill is truly a one-on-one. You cannot F with Bill, and you can't stump him in no question. We're going to talk about that in this video. But before we do that, make sure that y'all hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. Shout out to Bill Haney, man. He is the ultimate salesman. Bill Haney has done a tremendous job promoting Devin Haney and making Devin Haney a well-known name in the sport of boxing, man. Bill Haney has done a great job for his son. You know what I'm talking about? He's went over and beyond to make Devin Haney the name that he is today. And like I said, yeah, Devin got to get in the ring and win these fights, but Bill is the one that is the voice outside of the ring and the voice all through the YouTube streets, man. So I got to give Bill his props. And of course, Bill is no stranger to flipping things around and making narratives and making things seem totally opposite with what they really is. But, I mean, you know, that's what promoters do. Bill is a promoter. So, you know what I'm talking about? I can't hate it. You know what I'm talking about? I know the game. I know the game, and Bill is doing a great job at playing the game. We all remember Devin Haney versus Vasil Lomachenko, and I believe it was after the ninth round, right? Going into the 10th round, I could be wrong, but it's one of those rounds, and Devin Haney was looking very frustrated, and he was looking lost. And he told Bill in the corner, he says, Dad, Dad, he's figured me out. He's figured this out. He knows that I'm going to that side, you know. And so he was confused. He was he was letting Bill know, like, hey, our game plan is not working because now Lomachenko has figured us out. And he's looking at Bill for answers. And that's completely normal. Of course, fans are going to laugh and they're going to make a whole big deal out of it. But that's normal. And I actually thought it was a good thing that Devin Haney was comfortable with going to Bill and letting him know, look, what you telling me to do or what we worked on, now he's figured it out and it's not working for us no more. That's what you have a trainer in the corner for, to tell you the things to do if you got to go to a plan B or C or whatever it may be. So that's what they're there for. But like I said, as usual, in the boxing world, everybody made a big deal out of it and everybody started mimicking Devin Haney. Hey, dad, dad, he's figured this out, dad. He's figured this out. But up until now, we hadn't heard what Bill Haney had to say about the situation. Now, one thing, like I said, Bill Haney, you can't stump him in no type of question, right? Because it don't matter what you ask him. If he want to spin it and he want to take you and drive you around the block so much to where you forgot the original question you asked him, that's what Bill is going to do. But y'all got to listen to this. Listen to what Bill Haney says when a caller calls into the boxing voice. It quotes the infamous Devin Haney line. Dad, dad, he's figured us out, dad. And Ness, Ness be instigated. See, Danny tried to read the question, right, because it was a super chat question, and basically tried to go around it. But Ness was like, nah, nah, nah. I want to hear what you got to say about that, Bill. And so let's go ahead, and I'm going to play the audio for you, and then we're going to come back and cook on it. Listen to what Bill's explanation for this was and what Bill had to say about this. We got Jonathan Ramirez. I'm not sure what he means, but he says, Dad, figured he figured me out. Oh, he was... Oh, they trying to quote you? Yeah, he trying to... Well, he trying to quote Dev um, from the fight, obviously. Jay Fields, five bucks, says, who does Bill have on Benavidez? Nah, nah, I want some insight on that, Bill. What was your thoughts when Dad okay. said he figured me out? Well, that's what we wanted it to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's what we wanted it to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's what we wanted it to happen. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> hold up, hold up, hey, being crazy as hell, man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play the rest of it for y'all, man. I'm over here crying. That's what we wanted him to to believe that Devin was gonna go that way. We wanted him to do that. We wanted him to throw his left hand and throw his lead left hand. That's what we wanted, you know. Um, when you when you have a fighter like uh like Loma. It's what you let him do or you force him to do. The lesser of the two evils. You know what I'm saying? And while the crowd is screaming, right? The crowd is screaming and this and that. And they're thinking, that's that left, that's that left, that's that left. But he's a right-handed fighter. So I had to send Devin on that side because those, that was the lesser of the two evils. So it was like getting hit with a double jab. It was like getting hit with a double jab because all of Loma's Knockouts have come with a hook on top of the head, or came with the lead uh, with the left on the body, on the inside, on that on that 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 liver or whatever. So our job was to to um to not give Loma that left side, not give him that left side, the left body shot, but give him that left um that straight left, and make him keep using that going to that. But but we were over far enough on that side that he couldn't throw the left. And the hook, he couldn't throw his brick and his hook. He could only th throw a left. And then he was saying, "Okay, they were figuring out, they're figuring out, figuring out, figuring out." And I said, "Good, but you're faster. Stay that. That's what he's figuring that his best option is." But if I let him think that, you know, so he's thinking, "Throw the left hand, throw the left hand," right? So I took it off of Lomachenko's mind for a split second that he was going to use his right hand. You see what I'm saying? And by he, by the time he figured the fight was over, it he says, "Oh, that's what they did." You know what I'm saying? They stepped to him and, and took away his hook, took away his his jab. But I never, we never wanted to use the jab. It was a right hand. You know what I'm saying? It was a right hand. And if you throw that jab, when you throw that jab, then you can get countered with the hook over there on that side. So we never was really jab, jabbing him. We were more so throwing the right hand, body, right hand, head, and then going, going to the right. Hey, I told you, you cannot stump Bill Haney and back him into a corner with no question because he going to find a way out and he going to drive you all the way around the world. And by the time you get to the end, you didn't forgot what you asked that man. Now, the whole thing was about Devin saying, Dad, Dad, he figured this out. And Bill Haney made that shit sound so good that all of his diehard fans is going to say, Oh, yeah, man, you see, you see, man, that, man, that, oh, that's real, Bill. Man, that 100% facts, Bill. And they didn't forgot the main question that they was asking was, What was going on when Devin Haney was confused? saying, man, I don't know what to do because he's figuring us out. This man in the beginning, what cracked me up is he said, oh, oh yeah, that, that's what we wanted. That's what, like, y'all wanted Devin to come to the corner and say, Dad, he's figuring us out. But like I said, man, you, you cannot stump Bill Haney with nothing. Bill made that shit sound so good, he made everybody forget what the main point was. <laughs> Real talk, man. And by the time he was done talking, Ness didn't have nothing to say. You know what I'm saying? He was just like, okay, next question. Bill Haney talked for about three minutes. It made y'all forget what the main point was. That's what I'm saying, man. Bill Haney is the ultimate salesman. And that shit was just funny when I heard it. But like I said, man, as far as the situation with Devin Haney being confused, that's just the part of being a fighter that's continuing to grow. He had never been in competition with somebody like Vasil Lomachenko. So I believe that fight is going to make Devin Haney even better. And if he has that situation that he got to go through again, he going to learn from it. He going to know what to do. So I wasn't making a big deal out of the whole dad, dad, he figured me out. But it was just funny, the spiel that he gave when he was asking about the situation. Anyway, I want to hear from y'all in the comments what y'all think about that. Drop a comment in the comment section. Make sure that y'all hit my like button, share this, and subscribe if you're not already a sub. Y'all already know how I do. Dango talking that boxing again, and I'm gone. Roll with me, get to contact. High definition, popping, flipping out the armrest. See, I'm a rider, dipping in the